I'm Erica Cadavine and I'm an inpatient physical therapist here at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare and we will be talking about the zero-g gait and balance system today. We take the information based off of a patient's height and weight and we put an associated harness on the patient which is attached to the zero-g system. And then that system takes off an appropriate amount of weight that we want to be training our patients with. And what it does is it creates a safe environment for our patients where we're not worried about the fear of falling and we can do higher level balance training. There is a tracking system that goes along our ceiling and then there's a spreader bar and a harness that attaches to the patient and that attaches to the trolley system. So then the system works off of a computer and a remote control that the therapist can hold on to while the patient is walking. I'm Caitlin Rudolph. I'm one of the inpatient physical therapists here at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare. So the Zero-G, you can work on higher level balance activities. You can work on functional mobility tasks such as gait training or stair navigation. Our occupational therapists here also use it for other home management tasks like reaching down to pick up an object from the floor, carrying a, a laundry basket, all those things that patients will need to be able to do. So after our sessions, what pops up on the computer screen is the amount of feet that a patient has walked the amount of falls that the machine has registered, and the amount of body weight support that's on average used for the patient. And that can be a way to set goals, you know, next time we only have this many falls. So we've used it with all of our patients here at Gaylord Hospital, from our pulmonary patients, patients after a traumatic brain injury, stroke, spinal cord injury. Really, it can be used with any patient population. We have pulmonary patients that go in the machine, spinal cord injury patients, brain injury patients, and just our general medical patients here. We have a high stroke population for patients as well, so we really do use it amongst everyone here in the hospital. So the equipment helps us as a therapist because we're able to get our patients up on their feet a lot quicker. We're also able to try things that we may not have tried or thought to try just for safety purposes, but now we're able to do that because now we don't have to worry about the patient falling. So stairs can be a big challenge for patients and a lot of patients have stairs to get into their home. This is a way for us to get them in the harness and really start working on those stairs early on. So we can do lunges, squats. This allows us to be hands off with our patients so we don't have to be holding on to them as much. They can really get what a sense of independence is without that fear of falling because the system will catch them if they do lose their balance. And then just gait training. It allows us to have one therapist instead of needing two hands on for a patient. So it gives more therapy time to patients throughout the day. Those patients that might have a fear of falling can now get up and you can show them that they physically won't touch the ground, the machine will save them. And that really does help because once a patient is afraid of falling, it, it really does hold them back sometimes. It's proving effective for us. We've been able to use it with a lot of different patients. We've had it for about four months now and we have been able to use it amongst those different diagnoses that we see and we've been able to really get people advancing and progressing in their therapies faster than we think they would without it. Definitely proving effective. We can be a lot more aggressive with our patients and it's really helping to overall promote their recovery and progress.